Do you suffer and see suffering in this world? You may cry out to God, Why, Lord, do you allow suffering if you are a good God? Stick around to the end of today's show for the Word of the Week, which helps explain why God does allow suffering. Suffering in many instances, if not all, is a tool for learning, and a good God, like a decent parent, will allow, even inflict punishment on loved ones to get a point across. What parent will not slap the hand of a child that is about to burn his or her hand on an oven burner? Or give a child a time out for breaking a house rule? Are you like me when you catch a cold virus or the flu, suddenly aware that you have burned too many bridges on your once healthy body? The pain and suffering we are hit with is a reminder that we have forsaken the laws of good health for too long. It is time to reflect on what actions need to be taken to get back to good health. This leads to the word of the week, pray. Prayer connects us to our ultimate health source. Whether we are in pain or not, God does hear his people's prayers. From the first book of John, chapter 5, verse 14. Now this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. But know that if you are not with God, he also is not with you. From the book of John, chapter 9, verse 3, We know that God does not hear sinners, but if anyone is God-fearing and does his will, he hears him. And what, if, what is God's will? It is all written in the Holy Bible. Is this not the greatest news you have ever heard? Upon confessing our sins to God, then trusting and following Him, we come closer to the will of God, that is, we are now justified of all our sins, yet sometimes our prayers are still not answered. Well, can we in every instance truly know the will of Jesus Christ? Maybe His timing is different than ours. Maybe we are still unknowingly doing harmful actions that are causing our pain. After all, we are in the sanctification phase of our growth with God. Our solution is more prayer, more reading and study of His Word, more connecting with other church members in study, prayer, and fellowship. Ultimately, we must remember that this is not our home as Christians. Our home is with the Lord our God in heaven. Let's pray. Oh, dear Father in heaven, thank you for hearing your people's prayers. Thank you for answering our prayers. Lord, when our prayers are not answered right away, help to give us patience and understanding. We know, Lord, that you understand our pain as you have lived through the greatest of pains in dying for each of us, in atoning for our sins. Thank you for redeeming us lost souls from our transgressions. You are a just and loving God. We love you, Lord. Amen. Well, thank you for watching episode number 122 of the ABCs from God, sharing the truth about being Christian. Please help support this channel by smacking the like and subscribe buttons. Hit the bell to always get our latest episode. And please now help to spread the good news by commenting and sharing today's show. For those of you who are currently without a church group, Go to my description to view a weekly sermon from the Richmond Alliance Church. And if you, a confessed sinner, have just come to Jesus Christ, begin your daily habit of reading the Holy Bible. Be part of a Bible-based church and join with my friends and I in sharing God's truths, His ABCs, about being Christian. God bless.